TSA data showing passenger traffic hitting a pandemic high with more than 800,000 people passing through TSA checkpoints on Sunday alone. But despite the bump, traffic is still down 70% from the same time last year. Joining us now, Colin Scarola from CFRA Research. Uh, Colin, thanks for, for joining us. I mean, what, were we due a bounce uh, in the airline stocks, uh, given that they're, they're still year to day underperformers when we see data like that? Hi, Wilfred. Uh, I think, you know, after what we saw when the virus cases started to stabilize in April and then come down, you saw a lot of pent up demand come back into airlines, especially with some of the great discounts you can get on tickets right now. So I don't think uh, we should be too surprised to see this uptick starting to happen now, right around when virus cases are stabilizing in the U.S. again. And, and fares are even lower. There's some really great deals. So that's going to stimulate demand for airlines. What about the stimulus? It, are there expectations that these, these companies are going to get more money already built into the share prices? I don't think so. I think the, the next round of political aid, if there is one, is a pretty big wild card. I think, in my opinion, it's unlikely because I think now that you're seeing the virus sort of stabilize and you're seeing an unemployment come back into more of a range we're familiar with in recessions, as opposed to even just, you know, two weeks ago, it looked like we were still in depression level unemployment. I think that's going to be enough to sway some of the more conservative legislators away from another round of bailouts. So personally, I don't think another round of government stimulus is likely. Um, but even if it does come, I would think it would be loans, which aren't necessarily a good thing for a lot of these airlines that already have way too much debt, in my opinion. You have a strong sell rating on American. Tell us why. So I, th I think naturally, as an investor, you would expect when it looks like you're going to have a long-term slump in earnings for a company, you would expect the enterprise value to come down significantly to reflect that lower earning power. But what we're actually seeing with certain companies, Americans probably the most notable example, is with so much new debt and equity shares issued, personally, I feel like a lot of the, the retail investor influx is, uh, is not yet digested the major impairment to the capital structure of American airlines. So I think their enterprise value, if you account for their, their new debt, their new equity issuances, and their likely rate of cash burn, it's actually higher than where it was at the end of 2019, which I don't think makes any sense. And I think over time, that enterprise value, it can only come down through a lower share price because mm -hmm. the debt is fixed. So that's my, uh, my quick rationale for American Airlines, is enterprise value just needs to come down because it, it can't go up when we're in this major crisis for airlines. Colin, thanks for joining us. Thank you.